So now we are going to take important topic of compressibility. Compressibility. So compressibility is related to the the characteristics of the states of the matter. That is the interatomic distance or intermolecular distance between the atoms of the substance or matter. So that is related to the compressibility. Now already we can say that liquid and gases are said to be fluids. So it has a ability to flow. So that is why they are called fluids. So solids has not characteristics like fluid property. So because solids cannot flow from one place to another place, similar to gas and liquids. Okay, so next property is we are going to take, we are going to say that the solids and liquids are such a way condensed phases. Nothing but they are higher denser compared to the gases. The intermolecular distance is very small compared to the gases. And the attractive force is more in, in the gas and solids. So this is the property based on that one, we can say that the compressibility is less to the liquids compared to gases and it is more to the what you call gases. So now the meaning is uh, if you take a pen or a ball, it is their example of solids. Just uh, observe carefully, I am applying pressure here. So the pen has no change in its shape. Let us take the ball also. If I press, though I am applying larger pressure, it has no change in its shape. So this property is said to be compressibility. Similarly, we can define like this. Compressibility is a measure of the change in the volume of the substance undergoes because of when you are applying certain pressure or when some pressure is exerted on the substance. So this is said to be the measuring ability of how the substance is changed in its shape because of the applied pressure or force. So now already the CNG example compressible natural gas or liquefied petroleum gas LPG gas cylinders. So they are filled inside the cylinders by using the property of compressibility only because a large amount of gas can be filled to a smaller cylinders. So because of that property only we have very flexibility to, tr to transport from one place to another place a large amount of gas. So that is why we can say that gases have are more compressible compared to solids and liquids. Okay, so we will see some more properties in next session.